Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I would walk through how I've been kind of using my traveler's notebooks. Um, I kind of went on a traveler's notebook rabbit hole recently and you guys probably saw like the unboxing videos a couple videos back if not I'll link it up here or down below and yeah so I just wanted to kind of give you an update kind of chat to you guys about you know what I found as I was using them so these are the three that I have and the first thing I gotta say about traveler's notebooks is uh, I don't know what it is but like, I love the feel of the Traveler's Notebooks leathers, even though they're different. And like, these are the types of planners that I just like want to hold and smell. <laughs> like, you know, be like that weirdo who does that. And I don't find that as much with my ring planners. And I kind of mentioned it in one of my last videos is that, I don't know, I like, I don't care about the leather as much with ring planners, but for some reason, with these, like, it just makes a difference when it's the traveler's notebook versus kind of like the knockoff versions that you've seen. I mean, at least for me, this is just my opinion, obviously. I don't know what it is. So, um, you saw that I um, bought these three basically at the same time, or pretty much the same time. And my favorite is definitely this blue. I just, I love it. The texture, it's its not the suede feeling one, like the fully suede one, but it's also not the super smooth one like my Passport is. Um, and I had done an unboxing about this and kind of said how when I originally got this, it was like that suede one. And um, I was at first kind of disappointed by the smooth, but now like I love it. And I'm so happy that I ended up in exchanging it and getting it this one. Um, okay, so enough rambling about, you know, the different videos because I already have unboxing videos, but let's talk about maybe my, um, what should we talk about first? Maybe let's talk about this guy first, this small one, the passport again. Okay, so initially I got this, um, to use as kind of like a wallet combo, um, and I don't know what it is about TNs is that... I don't know. I, I just wasn't really loving it as a wallet. And I don't know. It's just something about the Traveler's Notebook look that I don't know why I just don't love it as a wallet. Like to me, it just reminds me of um, some sort of journal and something that you take to go on adventures with and not necessarily to like plan in. I don't know if it's just because I like the flexibility of rings. So I knew that um, the planning didn't work and I don't know, I just wasn't reaching for it as my wallet, even though it was a great setup and I'll, I'll show you how I had set it up. Um, yeah, so that was kind of my first thoughts on that, but let me show you just what I have. These are charms that I actually made. Like I got the charm and then, you know, got the hooks and everything and put them together. I'm actually thinking about maybe creating and selling these or you could, you know, make them yourself. But if you're interested, just shoot me a comment down below and yeah so got these random charms there's a little book one and I just tied it to the to the um, bookmark and it's so cute so I how I set it up and I thought it looks so nice too the way that I actually like set it up I really loved um, but I'm not really reaching for it right now so here I just have one of those clear pockets and I have some deco in here so um, this is Ivy Mill, Maria Plans, or Floor Papeterie. Um, this is a plan with B freebie. And then I have the craft folder. And in the craft folder, what I actually did was this little hack where I basically just took like sticker paper from my daughter's like sticker books that she wasn't using. And I just cut it down to passport size and then put it within the craft folder because I wanted that sticker release paper from... Um, you know, bit, re, bit of rarities, besides the rarities, and they're always sold out, so I can never get it. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna make my own. And so that's great for stickers. I have this little clear pocket that I was adding in like receipts or random like ephemera that I wanted to keep. Um, this is just another sticky note that I wasn't really using. And then I have the monthlies, and this is like the actual um, Traveler's Notebook or Midori monthly insert. And I thought, you know, having a monthly on the go would be good. And then behind there, I actually made my own Tomoe River paper notebook. And I was just using this for random lists. Um, and yeah, and I was, you know, it, it, the setup is great. And then I have like, I guess to continue, um, I have the 
Um, this is the dupe of the B-Sides and Rarities zipper case. And this is, I can't remember if it's, I don't think it's Motor. I think it's the other one. But anyways, I'll link everything down below if, you, if you're interested. But it's just from AliExpress. And it's really inexpensive. I think they have it on Amazon now too. Um, and I would keep like, you know, my cards in the zipper pouch and some other like, you know, receipts or cards out here. And then within here, I had a little booklet that I made. And this is the um, GTD, my GTD inserts in um, a booklet form at the back. And that's that. Um, one thing to note if anyone was interested in the booklet. So right now I have the standard passport or say standard passport the standard TN inserts of these in my shop and the way that that listing is it's basically you create an inbox um, booklet and then a next actions booklet like each each type of insert would be its own separate booklet um, and I did it that way just in case like you wanted multiple inbox pages or multiple next actions list. you weren't like bound by you know, the number of pages that you would have in like, if, if it was just a booklet form, if that makes any sense. But if you guys are interested in like a booklet form where you have a set number of pages for each layout, just let me know. But anyways, that was kind of a ramble. So I had that in there. And then back here, I just had this, um, I don't know, this like little thing that's supposed to be for rings, but I just used it because it had like the, um, the pen loop there and it was perfect. The setup is amazing. Like it's a great setup for those of you who are wanting to use um, Passport TNs as a wallet. It's a great size and I really loved it. And I don't know, it's just wasn't resonating with me as like a wallet, um, but I kind of want to use it this summer, maybe for like adventures and stuff. Maybe I'll get back into it. So that's the setup. I still love it. I'm keeping it in this setup because I know I'm going to be back in here. I just know it. So that's that. Maybe next let's go into, actually let's go into this one because this one is more solely memory keeping. Okay, so this one, again, I made the charms. I think they're so cute. Um, and then of course I have the clip in here. So I love this blue. It's just the most beautiful leather. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm obsessed. I just love it so much. So in here, again, again, kind of like a similar setup with the card holder at the front so I can have some a little bit of like functional deco. Um, again, same kind of um, uh, freebies from Flora Puppetry and uh, Ivy Mill. And then some other stuff like this. These functional cards are, uh, of course, from my shop. Um, that's my daily routine. This is a cloth and paper memo sticky pad. Um, again, this is another one of those zip pouches and behind here, I have some more of those functional cards. I just love these. I think they're so cute and you print them on like different kind of cardstock paper and just look so nice. I mean, I love it. Maybe I'm biased cause they're, I made them, but still, <laughs> and then I just, um, cut down again, the sticker paper into now these like card sizes and added some stickers to put into these slots because what I was using this for was memory keeping. Um, and I was loving like the vertical layout. So this is a printable from my shop. I just um, cut it together and put it as a notebook. And I'll actually link um, how I created this notebook, um, the tool that I used to be able to bind this with um, string instead of just stapling it. It's a really simple tool. I'll link it down below. I should make a video about it. Please remind me or comment down below if you want me to make a video about how to create travelers like notebooks using the string instead of the staple method because <sighs> I meant to do it. I forgot. Anyway, so yeah, so I was really loving this and I'm just so bad with memory keeping. Like even with my Hobonichi weeks, I go like weeks without doing it and then I have to go back and like refill it in because I forget. Um, so yeah, but loving that. And then I have in the back of that cloth zipper thing, just some ephemera. And this is just like random stuff that I've collected throughout the weeks or whatever that I want to stick into this memory book back here. Um, and I just stick it in whenever I have time. And so these are just like random ephemera that I have and like gotten throughout the weeks. And then I just stick it back here. And I think it's super cute. 
Um, so that's that. So that's within the craft folder. And then I just have one of those like pen loops stuck on the back of the craft folder. And that's what's in here. And I just find that I'm like a two planner person. Like I can't really handle more than two or keep up with them. But um, yeah, loving kind of, you know, the setup here and just love this cover so much. I definitely want one in Passport at some point. Okay, so then the last one that I have is the Tokyo Station one. And this is the one that I um, ordered from Etsy. And again, all the info is linked in that other video, which is linked below. Um, if you're interested, this seller was amazing. Like they gave me like so many cute freebies. The packaging was great. It was really fast, highly recommend. And yeah, I just love this cover. It's so beautiful. Um, and I thought I would like this more than the blue, but surprisingly, I think I like the blue more than this one, which makes me kind of sad that I didn't get the 2022 special edition blue one with the airplane on it. But anyways, so in here, all I have is, um, this folder and it's this type of folder with like the, the card slots. And what I've been doing here is, um, using my HP sprocket and basically I just keep a photo of the month kind of thing. And so it'll just be my favorite photo for that month. And then I plan to do one for, you know, every month. And I think you can get about like four years worth maybe or something like that in here. And I just thought that would be really cute. I don't know. It really simple and really cute. Cause I'm definitely more of like a picture kind of person than a than a writer um, so yeah I've been doing these little collages on the HP sprocket and it's it's great and I can link it down below and it just comes with like the zinc uh, sticker paper so these are actually stickers on the back if you wanted to stick it down but I just use it as a little card so that's in there and then um, the only other insert that I have in here is just this one and it's the special you know the special edition one that comes with this one the train insert and what I thought I would do here is every time we go on a big trip so not just like weekend trips weekend trips and just small things I would put into that ephemera booklet here but when we do like a big trip of the year I would take the ephemera from that trip and stick it in here so it would be kind of like a cumulative you know little booklet of big trips that we've done and at the same time, when I travel, I might take um, those that insert like the half booklet insert where it has fewer pages and use one of those like for the full trips. And that's kind of how I've been using or how I set these up, I guess, because I'm not fully using all of them. Um, and I'm just I'm loving it. Um, I go through phases for sure and just rings back and forth. I have noticed that I think planning wise, I just, for some reason I can't plan in traveler's notebooks. And I think it's because I just want like that versatility of rings and being able to change things out all the time. I'm always like creating new inserts for the shop and everything. And you know, I don't want to hinder that creativity either. And by me wanting to use an insert, then like it'll make me want to create more for the shop. So. Anyways, that's that about um, Traveler Notebooks and my random spiel. I feel like this video is all over the place. But yeah, let me know down below how you guys feel about Traveler's Notebooks and planning in these versus rings. Um, I still just like, I wish I could use them more because like, I don't know. I just, I love the feel of these. I love the size. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Maybe Traveler's Notebook has come out with like these covers, but with like rings inside that would be perfect, right? <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.